and gentlemen, rock and roll. For more than two decades, music videos were synonymous with MTV and VH1. And as audiences ballooned, so did music video budgets. It got to the point, I think, in the early 90s, um, the late 80s, early 90s, where people were dropping a million dollars, two million dollars on videos. I think the Michael and Janet Jackson video, Scream, came out in 1995, and it cost seven million dollars. But when the reality TV wave hit MTV, videos soon fell out of favor. Budgets for videos shrank and artists and labels were left with less profitable online sites like YouTube or MySpace for distribution. Oh, I felt that there was a lot of content on YouTube, but it was hard to find the highest quality content on YouTube. There were thousands of duplicate copies of the same video. Uh, sometimes you wouldn't know whether something was the official one or uh, the highest quality one. Enter Vivo. Created as a partnership between music labels Universal, EMI, and Sony, the video platform has become the online successor to MTV. Right now, worldwide, we reach about 227 million unique viewers each month on our platform. Um, we're the ninth largest web platform worldwide. Vivo is taking steps to expand past a traditional music video. Last year, the platform started to stream live concerts and expanded to broadcast festivals like Bonnaroo. Last year, we produced and distributed about 25 live events. Um, uh, this year, we'll do um, almost twice that. And the music videos themselves are evolving. Artists like the Arcade Fire are using the web to create more interactive videos. We think the music video is ripe for reinvention and reinterpretation. Music videos are no longer purely a promotional vehicle to sell music, uh, like they were in the 80s or most of the 90s. While online platforms like Vivo now pull in the millions of viewers once held by MTV, big budgets for music videos haven't fully returned. Even Kanye West has said that his early videos cost, you know, $30,000 or so. Yeah. So it's a lot cheaper. For CNN Money, I'm Jason Sanchez.